genre of music do you like and why? Let us interact by Likososos. Meanwhile, introducing to you one Falcon, Sasa Falcon. Mambo. Niko poa sana. Na mi wasani unawa mna nistoa sana. When you akona talent, 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 ukiwaona in real life huwa hametulia, <laughs> hawana story, ata storm the moves aye. Huko katua metu. Eh, hey, walafu usiketu saote na naingi. Ok. Wanasema na MTV so. <laughs> Aha! I see! I see what you did there. Introduce yourself to the people to your uh, story. Yo, my name is Falcon. Uh, Falcon yote na kwa capital. Mm -hmm. Tuko Falcon na tatu tu. Wakwanza ni Ndege the Bird. Mm -hmm. Wapili ni Mimi na tatu ni The Actor. And all of us are black. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hey! Why uh, Falcon? Let's start with that. Falcon, uh, despite the agility, na... The fact that Falcon in the game is very swift. Mm. Falcon is also a bird, a very small bird mm -hmm. that is not at most time recognized, mm -hmm. but very, 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 let's say very strong. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. So yeah. Of all the species, I think, of the birds, the ones that were told, or rather the one species we're told that is out there in the ego. Yes. So I would have assumed Ungejita ego. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> You already know your niche. Yes. I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Falcon, I don't know where to start from. Maybe we start from the reverse. Twanze Mali Tuko say in the present, yes. Nakuyanza as mm -hmm. we go backwards now, maybe. So tell us about Nakuyanza. Nakuyanza is a funny story. It's a real life story. Oh, First, uh, I'm really gocha, like. Gocha. <laughs> Hashtag those the vibes, eh? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Kwanza. Mm -hmm. I really want to thank God. <laughs> but I thank God. Eh? I thank God for allowing heartbreak mm -hmm. to fall on my best friend. And I thank God for allowing heartbreak to fall on my best friend. best friend. So, <laughs> first, let's confirm. No, no, no. My best friend. Okay. This, this is a guy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. it's, written, it's written from a guy's perspective. Mm -hmm. So, my friend had a woman, or not a woman, but a lady in the mm. city. She had a, she, he had a girlfriend in the city. Mm -hmm. And then he came to Nairobi, I can't go on two bob a month. Mm. Because I can find the God, the God of love in Nairobi. Well, you well, know? well, well. So he fell, in love with, he fell in love with another chick in Nairobi. It's not there are two in the city. Yes. No, there's only one in the city and one in the Ushago. Uh -huh. So love in the city with man you know. So you know, you know, you know, it feels oh, like it's fire. No. Yes. So love in the village to die for a moment. Mm -hmm. Eh, sasa juzi juzi ya katandiko na tupekile nzuri. Wait. You know, kuna hile heartbreak na katandika. Ina ito like, a character development. Yeah, it comes like Pentecost. That thing comes like with really superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So he came at my place. Uh, it was like so, so, so bad. Oh. It was terrible. And he came to my place. So it was around Satis Hausiku. Mm. Yeah, I have a small home studio, bedroom studio. So... Hey, look, come on, so he was playing the guitar, and then he was like, Bro, me, I miss this chick from the village, man. Like, um, the mapa tower, man. If I'm then I miss two young in the ruby home, the pattern, and out them. And I was like, Uh, that's a good idea. And then I was, I was sleepy, mm -hmm. and then he started playing the guitar, and he was like, When do I was like, what, what is that single thing again? Mm -hmm. And so I, I went and played the keys, and I'm like, No, this thing is called Nakuya. And so the guy is Luya. Mm -hmm. The guy is a lawyer. I was like, you know uh -huh. what? Give me some lawyer lyrics. Uh -huh. I'll combine it with my Mijikenda lyrics uh -huh. and then we add some Swahili on top. Hey. Yo, my mom was a Tarab singer. So wow. I, have like, I have like amazing poetry in me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like I'll just combine the three languages, mm -hmm. my tribe, your tribe, and then I'll sing for you the message. Mm -hmm. If she gets it, well, and if she doesn't get it, she'll, she'll react for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then we came up with the song. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, just to clarify for heartbreak. <laughs> yeah. So, there were two. First, there was one. Alafaka yes. kuja katerem kaivi. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, woo, the city, Nairobi, Kanairo, uh -huh. Karibu, Kanairo, Karibu, Kenya. <laughs> yeah. Alafaka chikuwa slay queen. Uh -huh. As if you have not been warned. As if. As if there are no warnings <laughs> everywhere, everywhere, every corner. Yeah, yeah. As if, okay? Mm -hmm. Sasa, alafu huu ya kamkaribisha Nairobi with character yes. development. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sasa, huu wa mashinani bado alikuwa? Ah, bado alikuwa, lakini sunajua mashinani wako... Mangodi Amungu, bring them back. You know? I understand. So, I'm going to visit in this. So, where we would tell me, Uru? Yes. Uru, yes. So, that's now basically where the song is yes. at right now. Yes. Where, how does it end for your friend? Uh, we're still, still to be continued. We're still waiting. Maybe the ending will give me what is to come next. Bana. Yes. I hope it ends well, Rasta. I'm so sorry for 
character development. Ata mimi nilipigwa that's why I'm, I can confidently laugh at you. Ata <laughs> mimi nilipewa kwanza by king. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reisha king of character development. Ata mimi ndo nilichapa hiyo but it's okay we are alive we didn't die. Hashtag is Thursday vibes. So that's that we answer. Yes. Let's go now in reverse. Tell me what came before that and then maybe we jump a little bit to the genesis like how you uh, amesema make alikuwa nini to Atara, which yes. I find very interesting. You'll tell me about that too. Yeah. Uh -huh. What was, was okay. before this? Uh, I've been a singer before, mm -hmm. I think many years down the line. But um, the reason people have not heard about the Falcon is because I've, I've majorly been basing on writing. I'm a Cortez songwriter professionally. Mm -hmm. I've written for Antonio So, I've written for many big artists in Kenya, maybe East Africa. Mm -hmm. I've written for Elani. So I've been busy. Uh, doing poetry for the people. So we know you just don't know your face. We already know yes. your words. <laughs> okay. So I've been busy writing music for other people, mm -hmm. but there was that time now. I was like, no, this this is the point where I really start. Mm. So I got to the point like, yes, now I'm ready to start. Oh, so I just wanted to be behind the scenes. So I behold as eyes, maybe you end up behold. <laughs> oh no, you sasa. And you call me star, you got lines. Hey. <laughs> And I hear an accent. Next, so you like it in Swahili. So, you can learn how to speak. Grown up in Mombasa, mm -hmm. not Mombasa actually, Kilifi to be to be exact. Mm -hmm. I was born there, schooled there. I schooled at uh, Kapsabet High School and mm -hmm. then UN. So, mm. part of my huge life animation, the Ukubara, mm -hmm. and then my younger life in Coast. I love to go to Kongozi and University of Nairobi. So tell me the, the beginning, beginning before you knew you could write songs. What led you to write songs for the people? Beginning. How I do you even reach out to these people? I'm a wanna scare. Let's say you can go through, 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 you can go Funny enough, mm -hmm. I have the most irritating story, but no one <laughs> else can find it irritating than my mother. Mm -hmm. My mother had to go through a huge part of her life listening to my irritating training of guitars, you know, <laughs> off keys and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. And then I learned a lot of writing from her because mm -hmm. she, she was, you know, Tara writers were real poets. Mm. They literally, they wrote poems. They wrote Vina, blah blah blah. Mm. So I got that from her. But then coming to this age now, we have urban. So mm. I had to go back into study. Now my first writing began. Uh, I was in coast, and then I had this neighbor. He was Egyptian, and he was like, you know what? Me, I'm I'm a singer, but I cannot write. I was like, you know what? Just give me the lyrics from your your language, and then I'll write for you. So I listened to a whole album of Egyptian music, by the way. Wow. Yeah, so that I could get what they do and that culture thing. And that's why my accent has like, it's like confused. I have a very confused, I don't know what accent I talk. I don't Ata, know if it's Shane. Who's here to me, me, Nashi? No, it's not Shane. <laughs> Some guys are like, you're Congolese. No, I'm not Congolese. Sa Swahili Sanifu, <laughs> but you're also very good in English. So that rules out being Tanzanian. <laughs> because then they have problem with being good at both. So it, it really, it's confusing. I love women and Dakuyans. I love Tanzanian lawyer there, but okay. Yeah. So uh, after that, after I wrote that album, uh, it led to one of my very close friend. He's also a producer, it's called St. P. Uh, we are very related. Okay, I don't want to talk about the related part, but he's also a very close friend. So I came to his place. Actually, he made me stay there and explore more like mm. for a whole year. I really thank him. Shout out to you. Our whole year and is yes, at his place, mm -hmm. literally. So he taught me a lot. That's why I got all the skills of production.